All right. So um, when exactly did uh, Start Marketing Smart come about? So I started doing Start Marketing Smart in about 2018. So about two years after I quit my job. Okay. And um, that that came after kind of a weird transition because in 2018, I had like one of my biggest clients. I mean, in yeah, in the summer of 2018, I had one of my biggest clients. It was this brother that's like in his 70s and he was running for his second term as the only black person that's ever been on the city council of this city. And so um, it was really stressful and a lot of things happened and I wasn't able to make the moves that I thought that we needed to make to make his campaign successful. And that really had an effect on my mental and apparently my physical too, because I got really sick at in the middle of October and it really took a toll on my body so much so that by mid-December, I couldn't walk. And wow. I had to be taken out of our apartment by like four big ass uh, firefighters down the stairs and I didn't come home for two months until I got out of the house. So I really just had to find a way where I could help the people that I was helping, small businesses, entrepreneurs, but especially black I really want to help black because that's important, especially being one of them. I had to find a way to be able to help more people doing what I what I love to do, which is be creative and create more entrepreneurs like like myself. Because I know that there's more people out there who feel that stress of being employed, like I was, doing, like you were doing. Right. And um, can you kind of explain to the people exactly uh? what Start Marketing Smart is, exactly what it is that you do for uh, people, especially, like you said, entrepreneurs, small businesses, and people that are trying to get out of there and get out of their, you know, regular nine to five jobs. Yeah, for sure. So what I found with, um, like I said, with the entrepreneurs that I was working with, that they were missing a lot of their marketing foundation. They had no idea who their target audience was. They had no idea what the benefits of their services were. I worked um with an author, like I said, I worked with um, on a city council campaign. I worked on um, a consultant's website, and so these different things. But all of them had the same thing in common. And then I realized that I also didn't have my shit together as a copywriter. I didn't have a target audience either. I know, again, I wanted to write for Black folks, but there's a lot of education that we have to do in our community as far as business goes. So a lot of business owners in the black community don't even know what happened. And so when you have to educate people to know that it takes a longer time to be able to be successful at whatever it is that you're trying to do. So um, yeah, that's damn, I think I lost my train of thought. What was <laughs> Did I answer that question in a roundabout way? No, no, no. I'm just going to touch on what you said, and then we can go ahead and get back to the question. It has to be super difficult when you find yourself having to sell yourself to somebody because they don't even see the value in what it is that you're doing, and they don't understand it. It's something that's actually, you know, very, very advantageous to them and their business. So I get the frustration level there. Um, where we're going is what What exactly does uh, Start Marketing Smart, what, what exactly do you do for the for the people um, that you actually deal with? So what I did was create courses for these foundational pieces that were missing from the entrepreneurs and from my, my work as a freelancer as well. I created, eventually, it started out as a 30-day course, but people can't focus on shit like that for long. They won't finish. They're less likely to finish. And so I broke it down into courses that you can get done in about an hour a day. And in about a week, you'll have these foundational pieces that you'll be able to move forward, forward with in your business for years to come to be able to get those benefits defined, to be able to talk about them comfortably to your audience and be able to do things like that. So I have the beginner's blueprint, which is hitting up how to define your benefits and not just your 
what the functions of your product or service are, but what they actually get out of it. Because that's what these people relate to and the more easy uh, they'll be able to buy from you because they trust you. And they know that they need what you have. And so then after that, I also have a, um, a customer clinic, which is showing you how to define your avatar, where to find them, how to talk to them, all that good stuff. Finding your fire, which is another course on, like I said, how what I use to find my skills and gifts and turn them into a career. And then I also offer mentoring to start marketing smart. And this is something that came actually this past winter with being in the post Trump Secret Society, where I wanted to be able to give some value to people, especially my target audience which happens to be DG's target on. And so what a better place to do research and to help people, but then to offer free guidance sessions. And so going through these guidance sessions and helping people to understand where they were missing some things to then help them move forward, I found that this was necessary as well, to have mentoring, business mentoring for people in the same position that, you know, they're just stuck because there's so much shit to do with business. You know what I mean? That it's easy to do stuff. That's an extremely dope-ass service. And anybody that get wind of this, y'all need to take advantage, like ASAP. Especially if you're trying to start a business and you need that direction. This is the lady to see. Start marketing smart. We've been doing a lot of dumb shit in our past. Let's start doing some smart shit, y'all. Shout out to the goddess for even providing that service. And speaking of smart marketing, I love the way that you went about it. And and, and you said this ain't going to be free forever. But I know a lot of people that you had those one on one consultations with me included. Um, and I wasn't even quite sure why I booked the consultation. But I said, everybody's speaking so highly. But a queen, let me just tap in and see what kind of value that I can get out of it. So um, we had our one on one session. and you, you brought up a whole bunch of things that I really wasn't even thinking about that I was able to implement. And um, I know you did the same for a lot of other people. But like she said, if you didn't tap in at the time, it is not free anymore, but it is well worth it. You're going to find a whole lot of value in what she brings to the table. So definitely tap in with her. She did it like we used to do it on the block, bro. Give out some free samples when you get a new pack. You feel me? Straight like that. I like the hustle, man. I like the hustle. Yeah, That's what it is. Uh, 